Welcome back, this is M-Dog, and guess what, we're playing RF4 here. I don't know how slow the bite rate's gonna be here, so I'm starting this recording on the first two fish that I'm catching, because we got two bites at the same time, so there's no time like the present, right? I will say, from left to right, we're using smaller and smaller leaders. So that one on the far right, if we hook into anything too big, we could be in real trouble, but uh, hopefully that won't happen. And let's see what we got here. Is this a sterlet? This is what we're going for. Some nice sterlet. So we are at 58 meters clip, which a max toss for me using these Fortuna carp rods just goes the distance. We're using Fortuna carp rods, a variety of different reels. This is actually the gold 80. How long has it been since you've seen a gold 80? Well, if you've got one, maybe you see it all the time, but I haven't used the Gold 80 in a long time, but I wanted to try a much smaller leader on the far right one, on this one. So that was the appropriate size reel to throw on here. Let's see what we've got here. Now, if we hook into a sturgeon or, I don't know, there may be other fish we could hook into here on uh, this bait that could totally wreck our day, but this is perfect. Another sterlet. So here's the setup, by the way, and here is the PVA. Let's go ahead and get this cast back out there. Actually, I meant to change these so that I could hear them. We're not, it's, again, this is gonna be a pretty slow bite rate, so it's not like we need to um, worry about occasionally hearing a bell or whatever. Uh, so no bite yet on this middle one. So we've got, okay, so the middle one has a 19 kilo liter. Far left has a 22.8 fluorocarbon liter. Wait, do we have these backwards? Yeah, we really should have the Avia on this one and the caliber HSV on the middle one. The Avia has more strength. So that's just silly town. And then we have 12.7 on the far right one. I also think using this bait, we could potentially catch burbot or catfish, which we're okay with either. The Amur catfish are quite good. Yeah, that's what that is. It's better at that size, it's better to be a Amur catfish. Of course, we want it a little bigger than that, but. Um, at that size, we'd rather it be a little catfish and not a tiny sterlet. Oh, I forgot to change that. Uh, so let's show you where we are on, on the map. We're down here at F8, 13160. And we are just chilling. Uh, hoping to catch some stuff. One thing I was going to try while we're sitting here, once it's daytime... Really, this is the other. We should use this caliber instead of the baby caliber. I actually think I might do that, and I'll throw the Tagara on this. The Tagara would be fine, too, but we don't quite need the Tagara strength, right? But I was going to do a Ciberlino, just see if we could catch anything out here. Um, and we want the floating 30 gram. I don't think we're going to hit something big and nasty, but... We'll go 19 liter, and I don't know what lure we want, so we'll wait until we can take a look at that. So let's look at the weeklies for Amur Catfish and Sterlet maybe? Just make sure there aren't other baits we could be trying. Yeah, so night crawlers. Night crawlers might also work well here. I've got the uh, chafers on all three currently. Um, and then, what kind of sterlet are these? These aren't regular sterlet, are they? Siberian sterlet. Ooh, they get big. See, if we were to catch a trophy sterlet on that small leader, that is 
that's not a good plan actually we should change that out although this week there hasn't been that big a one caught 10 we might get in I just don't know I'm not sure but I will say the bite rate seems to be as good if not better on this far left one and this is supposedly the I mean this is the biggest leader so it doesn't seem to matter so far is this another sterlet I like it ah shoot that is a waste of a PVA yep All right, how about uh, yeah, you know, Spiker 18 is always, almost always a good option. Four, four. All right. Just want to see if we can even get a bite out here on the Cibrolino. Because I think once it's daytime, yeah, you might occasionally catch a sterlet, but I bet this spot slows way down when you can't get burbot, you can't get um, catfish. So, you may want to do something else during the day. Look at this bite rate on this far left one. Am I casting this one slightly different, maybe? that although look at the xp even for a non-marker still 1300 xp on that little sterlet i was going to change this out and now i think i need to reset the line clip Nice cast. All right. So we are going to six in the morning. This would be a good time, good time to try the Cibrolino. Sixteen. 12 how far up like if we did throw this one out again we probably do want 19 which means 20 so let's set this back up 58 clip and let's get our experiment rod out since it's daytime. So how fast we want to, we probably do want it moving a little bit because of the current. This thing will go a country mile if we let it. All right, let's just see what happens here. Maybe we go a little slower than that. I don't know, we'll see. This may not work at all. Like, I just don't know. I think that's a little too fast. All right, let's try, let's try 24 and we'll cast this direction just a little bit. See if we can get a bite at all.
I guess it doesn't really drop much when that Cibrolino floats attached to it, huh? see what it's doing so it does drop the length of the float I guess might be a little awkward though it's pretty cool pretty cool that that works at all um, so far to pull it in 58 meters I mean the stir litter definitely here look at that 1560 XP not even a marker the stir litter definitely here so if you're just wanting to go after stirlet I mean obviously this seems like it's got great potential all right so what's on this right now let's um Let's set up a lure rig again, just for fun. Let's just make sure that we don't have any, um, any other options of stuff we could be doing out here. I guess the other thing you could try is just standard, like just float, right? All right. So there's a bite. Now, could you get blown up? Yes. I mean, you gotta be willing to, Willing to lose a lure here, because all it takes is one arctic char or something. You know, we're not in a boat, so we're not catching it if it takes off, but... It's kind of cool, though. Just something to do during the day, I would argue, makes this spot a little more fun. Because I do think the feeders are going to slow down a little bit once we get out of the morning. So whether it's float or ultralight, just something. And a lot of times down here on this side of Tunguska, some of the um, smaller fish are available to be caught. So that's why I figured it was worth at least checking it out. All right, I don't want to mess this up. Let's make sure, all right. All right, that'll at least be a marker, I think. Oh, it's a burbot. Eight in the morning burbot. I like it. See that burbot? I mean, two kilo burbot, but still, like that was not that much difference, even though that's a marker. Not that much difference from um, the uh, non-marker sterlet in, in terms of XP. But sterlet and sturgeon, I mean, those are just big XP fish, so. I'd say at nighttime, there's another burbot, isn't it? At nighttime, it might be tempting to switch to night crawlers on one or two rods. Just kind of see how you do, but during the day, I'm guessing this is what we want to be using. Okay, so let's tr let's just test one more thing while we're just kind of waiting to see a couple more fish. Um, no, no, no. Uh, what am I thinking of here? Weekly on the, uh, what would we want to look at? I mean, I guess anything like red worm caddis fly. Do we just try that? Red worm caddis fly.
We don't need anywhere near that big, but we'll try it. That's fine. We'll just do a six. I think we can do the eight. All right, how far out do we want to go? Maybe 16. Let's just see if we get any nibbles at all here. Just see if any of the white fish or whatever is, is here at all. try a 20 clip next time maybe cast straight out as well or an 18 clip cast straight out all right that's interesting Ooh, 3000 xp without premium all right let's don't change a thing here let's just cast straight out so we don't have to do all that reeling in just to get the slack gone like that. So we want to even cast farther left than that. So this might even be more intriguing if we can get consistent bites. Is six a good hook size? I mean, sometimes we go four on this type of fishing. Sometimes you go a little less though. It just kind of depends on what all's active. Let's see, what are we doing here? Yeah, I wanna go like a 20 clip. I want it farther away from the shore. Oh, I also didn't check the depth. I bet the depth is screwed up. We wanna do, I don't know, 1.4 depth or something. Let's see what that's set at. What is this? Oh, it's a catfish. This looks like a marker too. Yeah, 2800 XP. Already getting another nibble? Yeah, let's go 1.4. And let's go to a depth, uh, I mean, let's go to a clip of 20. Actually. Let's do it like this. Let's see if anything, oh yeah. Oh, screwed it up. It's weird, is it? Is it coming towards us? Is that why I'm getting so much slack? Current pushing it towards the shore maybe? Yeah, it really seems like it is. I don't know if we can get any bites that way, but you almost want to go. You almost want to go like this. All right, this I think is going to be better angle wise. But let's see if there's any fish activity this way.
What do we want to check? Um, we could just check the Arctic to Mool, right? Weekly. Mayfly Redworm. don't like how it looks over here. Let's just kind of bring it towards the shore. Hmm. They are here. Okay, so let's try to come in a little bit closer, 15, and let's go down to one meter. Let's try this one more time and then we'll, then we'll wrap it up. We caught what we came here to catch, which was the sterlet. All right, not enough to really, I mean, I'm just not seeing a ton of activity. I mean, we could do stuff like, you know, smaller hook size. Obviously we could try different baits. Um, I'm gonna take this clip off and I'm just gonna cast it out there a little ways. Let's see if anything happens out there real quick. This is a decent sized fish we have on, by the way. I won't be able to get to it fast enough if we do get a bite. I'm just curious. It's a pretty nice, bite, nice fish for 12.49 in the afternoon. Another sterlet. 
Wow. Very cool. Oh. We just had a legitimate bite. No way that fish stayed on. That's because it's a tiny little junk fish. I was like, <laughs> that never happens. Okay. that a bream not what you want to see it's like the perfect casting distance for a max cast with this stuff with this setup right, we'll give it a second then we're gonna wrap it up uh, one more time we're at 13160. And for the Sterlet, we're using Chafer's 58 meter clip, pretty standard PVA for out here. And they're biting. This is a Sterlet spot right now. Occasional burbot catfish, but lots of nice little Sterlet. Oh, we're not getting bites when it gets down that far. So far, oh, we just had a weekly sterlet. That must be a server issue. All right, where's my other, um, oh, here it is. Okay, so that will wrap it up for you. There's your PVA one more time. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Let me know how your fishing's going and tight lines. I'll see you next time.